All right, we're continuing on with maintenance. Stay tuned. All right, so we're continuing on with maintenance. We're moving from the back end to the front end. We're going to be working on another equally important system because, let's face it, we like having power. We're going to work on the generator hiding behind that little hatch. So, also a diesel, this one's a Generac. I'll give you the specifics and show you that information when we get in there. But uh, until then, this is just another easy oil change. Uh, make sure you got all the right parts. Ran into a slight difficulty with that, but story for another day. So we're gonna continue on with the change in oil. Okay, so here we are with the nose lifted up. I got enough room to get underneath it a little bit better. This inside the cavernous area with the big batteries is the Generac generator on these uh, alphas. Let's move in a little bit here. There's the specifics. I am honestly not sure what model of Generac this is. Just that I've done this before and I've got a list of part numbers that happen to work. Uh, you got your hours, your outboard start panel, all that stuff. You got your oil fill, which is a disastrous location, and the oil uh, dipstick there. So I'm going to go underneath. There's a little panel here that just removes with a couple of... Uh, push button style retainers that comes off and we can get access to everything we need to including the drain plug the oil filter and the air filter let's head underneath okay so here we are under the nose with that little panel removed we got the drain plug right in there the oil filter is hiding up there you can kind of see it peeking out let me find my flashlight here right there Luckily, everything's reasonably easy to get a hold of. I haven't had any trouble with the belts on this model. I also understand that maybe something I have to look at in the not too distant future. So, let's see if we can figure out what size that is real quick. Uh, is it metric or SAE? Bigger than 5 8 Let's see if it's 11 16 Oh, it must be metric. 11 16 is too big. 5 8 is too small. So that puts it somewhere around 17 millimeter. Survey says 17 fits. Let's start the draining process. So I get under here just getting stuff checked out. I'm not looking and paying attention. And my dog Harvey decides to run from who knows where and bump me in the back and say, hey, I'm here, pet me. So doggo wants pets, he's gonna get some pets. We'll continue in just a second. Okay, so the oil is drained. That's the easy part on this. Now they hit that impossible drain fill location right there on the top of the generator it's a difficult challenge, but they give you this nice, neat, handy dandy little oil filler doodad, spring loaded tip and all. The only problem with this is it's impossibly slow, but we will overcome. So I'm going to fill this guy up, stuff it in that little hole, and we're just going to fill till it's filled. I believe this takes about three quarts. I'll have to double check on that real quick and I'll confirm when I'm done. But uh, I believe three or four quarts is the answer. I'll tell you when I get that far. I've got other things I want to do in life than sit here and fill the generator. So I went and found one of my funnels. I found I had a whole various, uh, you know, assortment of funnels that I went and grabbed that I said, hey, let's see if this is going to work. Looks like I got a winner there. It's kind of uh, bigger than this. I think it was a multi assortment pack that I picked up forever ago. But you know something? Can't be slower than what we were doing. All right, so three quarts seems to be the magic number. I poured three quarts 
I poured almost three and a half quarts. I spilled a whole bunch using the impossibly small funnel in the impossibly awkward location. And so I did get, from what I can tell, based on what I see down there in my drip pan, about three quarts into the generator. So take a lesson from me, guys. Take your time. It's going to be, it's an impossible location. It's uh, not the most friendly place, but take your time. I think uh, that was like a five minute pour, you know, being trying to be careful, but apparently I wasn't careful enough. Let's see if it starts. Let's start it, make it run, make it be happy, you know, all that good stuff. Hit the preheat for a moment. And that's a happy generac. Generator's happy. Sounds good. If you like what you see, smash that like button. I'm going to go uh, try and get, you know, luckily I did okay on this one. But now i got to get that uh, wonderful diesel oil off my fingertips and all that good stuff out around my nails. But uh, SweetBathAndBody.com has a product called the Scrubby Bar. I've used it before. The thing is absolutely amazing at cutting through grease and grime. Cuts through all this diesel oil like you wouldn't believe. So if you're looking for something, head to SweetBathAndBody.com. Get yourself a scrubby bar because it takes care of all the diesel oil really well. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.